Okay, we're going to be going over number six in chapter 2.3 of the algebra text on how to identify a function from a graph. Now, I have drawn here letters A and C from number six. There are like 10 graphs on this problem, so definitely go back after watching this video and refer to your textbook. But um, an important thing to remember about functions is that you can have an equation without necessarily having a function. So what I'm going to show you today is called the vertical line test. And what that does for you is it allows you to test for a function pretty easily without knowing the equation. A vertical line test works like this. If you are able to draw a vertical line through the function, anywhere at all through the function, and touch the graph more than one time, that is not a function. Why? Because functions are said to be one to one, meaning that for every x value, you have one x value, it sounds better to say it like this, you have one y value for every x value. It's one to one. So your x values are here on your graph, right? And every single point on the line or on the, the graph that you're given has two values, you know, your x, comma, y. And that's how you identify all the different points. And for every x value, like for x equals 2 in this graph, y is something like 4. And there's only, you know, there's only one point for the, you know, x value there. But come over here and we try the vertical line test. And I can see right away that if I draw a line right here, then I am able to touch the graph at this point, this point, and that point. That means that this graph over here is most definitely not a function. It's a graph, it has an equation, but it's not a function. And that's how you can identify which ones are functions and uh, which ones are functions and which ones 